Check it out. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Sounds good even when it's turning off. Got a wicked wheel. Check the sucker out. Freaking full leather interior. Not a rip, dude. These seats are cherry. This isn't like a patch job either, okay? 1997 seats. Thing is spotless. And the carpet in this thing was apparently shot, so they did pull it out and just put vinyl in there. It's a lot easier to maintain. I mean, a pretty carpet that's not been stained up is definitely pretty. But, um, keeping them clean like that is very hard to do. Guys, say hello to LNP DG48, a 1997 crew cab long bed, four wheel drive, 7.3 power stroke that comes with $5,000 in cash. And not only that, but right now, you can also get entered for this truck at the exact same time. This giveaway is ending for good on March 17th. Okay, so from March 11th to March 17th, only time you're gonna have to get entered for this truck and this truck at the exact same time where the giveaways overlap only for seven days. So if you wanna get essentially 60 times entries and doubling your odds of winning, there's legitimately no better time to enter than right now. Um, if you're looking for excuses to enter, this is about as big of an excuse, literally, this thing is huge. Uh, to get entered right now, uh, it's, it's just, this thing is giant, it's huge. So, let's go over some of the details on this truck and let you guys get a look at it. Haven't seen me in a minute. I don't do a ton of YouTube anymore, guys. I, I try to bring videos randomly as we pick up new trucks, as trucks are leaving, update stuff like that, but I really just don't do a ton of YouTube anymore. It's a crew cab, it's a long bed, it's a freaking dually. 7.3 power stroke zf5 manual transmission when i say land yacht guys not only is it a land yacht because it's so big but it's a yacht in the aspect of it's freaking it's got everything you want right just like a yacht would all kinds of fanciness i mean you've got four-wheel drive you got a five-speed manual zf5 five-speed manual you've got full leather interior no rips, no tears, no cracks, none of that crap. I mean, every every seat's in perfect condition. You've got a perfect brand new headliner, brand new within the last couple of years. Very nice. The dash has been refinished, so this is um, re-wrapped with new leather. It's it's awesome. Um, the door panels are wrapped as well, and then the rest of it was just you know factory paint colored plastic. Um, very nice truck. Is tuned. And it is, it is gorgeous. This thing is gorgeous. So we're going to go into a little bit of a backstory on this thing. I'm going to tell you a couple of things that are on the truck that are done to it that I have been told and that I do know of. Um, we've been keeping this truck under wraps. We've been doing that a lot with a lot of our giveaway trucks recently. We've just kind of been like holding them down low, keeping it parked in the shop until we are ready to do a proper reveal. We've had this thing sitting here for, shoot, almost three weeks. 
Um, and now is the time to reveal it because the giveaway for these to be entered at the exact same time, which is only this week, it's the only chance you're going to get for both at the same time, um, is right now. And it ends on Sunday, March 17th. So, um, truck's gorgeous, of course, totally rust free, super clean truck. And it was one of those Facebook Marketplace finds as soon as it went up. Surfing, looking for an OBS, looking for really just a really just a crew cab long bit f-350 not necessarily a dually and i was trying to find a manual i was hunting like crazy for manual and i'm talking for like a month and a half straight just hunting 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 just trying to find a nice clean reliable you know great running 7.3 power stroke with a zf5 manual in it because the last obs that i had with a manual in it back in september no 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 not september that was back in shoot before that um july june and july freaking loved it like when i say i drove it and i liked the feeling of the zf5 more than a five speed first gen or even a second gen with an nv4500 i love i just love the freaking transmission in this thing it, it ran not this one but the other one it ran good the gears felt good and it was so just smooth and fun to drive like some manuals are just not that fun. Like they're just, I don't know. There's just something about them. They're just not fun. They don't grab gears right. They don't shift as smooth. They're not as user friendly. And I remember driving that ZF5 going, holy crap, why have I not been trying to find five speed manual Fords for so much longer? Cause this is a dream to drive. You can definitely see how guys can get hooked on those and never want to drive anything else. So that being said, we did get the crew cab long bed automatic with 150,000 miles on it. That we gave away a couple months back however well, i say a couple it's been more than a couple holy smokes time flies uh, it's been a, several months four four months i think five months somewhere around there i don't know somewhere, something like that but um that truck was great but it was an automatic i just didn't love it as much and i'm not saying they're bad trucks but that truck with 410 gears it was a dually crew cab long bed it was a big huge truck like this but it was an automatic it just felt like it didn't have enough to pull it down the road like and that's a combination of a few things power and also transmission can just eat up a lot of that power when it shifts like i don't know just an old automatic transmission in a huge truck uh, that's already you know when they're stock fairly slow and seemingly underpowered at times not always but at times um, so in that configuration big long bed you know dually crew cab with an e40d automatic in it, it you know, it was a cool truck, don't get me wrong. It turned freaking heads everywhere, but it just, the only thing that it was missing was that manual transmission. And this truck has literally everything that I wish that other truck had and more. And it is, I mean, as you can see, it's got a lot going for it. So I uh, found this thing on Facebook, listed for like an hour, got a hold of the guy, told him I would give him his asking price. You know, I could get the truck, you know, two days from the time I messaged him. He said, deal, took it off Facebook, boom, the thing up, the rest is history. It's so obviously it's lifted. It's like a four to six inch lift on it. It's got 20 inch Mayhem wheels on it. 35, 1250 R20 mud terrains on it. And we're gonna go over some of the other details. The front bumper on this truck, obviously it's not a factory bumper. This was actually pulled off though, instead of just being left that boring, like black powder coated steel color that most of these aftermarket bumpers are. Um, this was actually pulled off, sanded smooth, and painted gloss black, and looks super sick. Tow hooks are pulled off and painted Oxford white to match the new paint on the truck, and this is brand new paint on this truck, and it is Oxford white as well. Super nice, super good looking paint. The headlight bezels, obviously the headlights are not factory, they're smoked, but the bezels were taken off and painted gloss black, and same with that whole grill in the insert there that whole thing was pulled off and plain it pulled off and painted gloss black same with the trim around the windshield same with the mirrors they were pulled off and painted gloss black you can see a little bit dusty but um looks looks really good same with the door handles they were all pulled off and painted and the rear bumper as well which is a factory style rear bumper but it was painted gloss black but with a textured finish on that. So um, those are the aesthetic paint things that you guys might have wanted to see. Now in terms of the rest of it, 
Um, for the most part, this truck is original in terms of the body and panels on the truck. Um, very clean truck. And the guy that had it kept in a heated shop, really only drove it a few times a year to pull a trailer on nice days, didn't really run the thing in the salt or snow ever. He said that he just despised the idea of it, which of course you can imagine why, because these are really hard to find and really hard to get. And the last thing you want to do is rot out one of the only ones you're ever going to come across. So, you know, taking care of it goes a long way and uh, definitely shows that this one, we do have a cow hood on this thing, smoked cab lights, smoked aftermarket tail lights. Yeah, black and red badges. Thing is sick. Um, the only thing I would do different about this truck is that tent. That's the only thing. And uh, other than that, I mean, I love the way this thing is set up and I love the configuration with the long bed, crew cab, dually, five speed, seven three, four wheel drive, the big aftermarket, brand new wheels, brand new tires. Everything about this thing is just freaking sick. And we have not done a truck like this that's aftermarket in a long time. For the most part, we try to keep our trucks very, very, very similarly close to stock without going too crazy. Some aggressive wheel and tire setups change out any kind of parts that are either cracked or broken, anything like that that's just, you know, they're just older, we're out, get rid of it, replace it with new stuff. But for the most part, try to keep it like a subtle aftermarket twist on an OEM style truck and OEM ride height, stuff like that. This is the total opposite of all of that, okay? This thing is not only super hard to find and desirable in terms of the 7.3, the crew cab, the long bed, the dually, the manual, all that stuff. But it's got an aftermarket twist on it and it actually looks and functions great. You can fully lock these wheels on this thing. It's actually got a relatively good turning radius on it for as big and giant as this is. The other one that we had, for whatever reason, I feel like you couldn't get as much turn out of this. And I don't know um, if it's because of the aftermarket stuff up front and the bigger wheels and tires and stanced out with spacers or whatever. I don't know. But it actually turns and handles really good. I had this thing going about 75 down the highway. And this thing was effortlessly flying down the road. I mean, effortlessly. And this thing does have some aftermarket stuff done to it as well. So it's got an intercooler, bigger injectors, wicked wheel turbo, a um, whole bunch of other small things done to it. Fires up on a dime instantly, runs great. And this thing freaking hauls. When I say it hauls, I mean, it's not like any 7.3 I've ever driven, ever. No matter, new body style, the old body style like this, I've never driven a 7.3 that has as much oomph and power as this thing. This thing is insane. I mean, it, it just moves. It gets out of its way like no other. Couldn't be happier with that. I mean, the thing freaking, it just, it moves. And it's just not something usually you expect out of a 7.3. You're just thinking, oh, it's a nice, reliable truck, and that's all it's got going for it, is it's reliable. But this is reliable, stylish, and not only is it reliable and stylish, it's got some freaking power, dude. I mean, the thing can move. And I was blown away when we were doing a test drive with it. And I was talking to the guy that owned it. And I was like, dude, this thing's got some power. I'm like, I've never driven a 7.3 that can move like this thing. I mean, this thing gets down. It, it moves. He was like, yeah. And he, uh, I don't remember the whole list, but he sent me a list of all the stuff that was done to it. And uh, he's like, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't a stock 7.3. He said, there's slow 7.3s, which are stock 7.3s. He's like, and then there's this. He's like, this is the total opposite. I mean, he's like, I wanted a 7.3 because I wanted the reliability and I like the styling of the OBS and all that stuff. He's like, but I hated how doggish and sluggish slow they were. And so he changed everything about it that made it slow and this thing freaking moves. Transmission has been pulled out and it was completely gone through and replaced a heavier duty clutch put in it. So it grabs and goes incredibly smooth. Took it does work. I know sometimes sometimes those things don't work so smooth on these trucks. Super pretty truck. Starts up on a dime. Actually I already started up for you in the intro there. She runs good. Runs healthy. Take a gander. And hopefully you guys take an appreciation for how hard it is to find these trucks and how hard it is to find these trucks, period, let alone 
this nice, this clean. You see some of the comments from people, it's just unreal. You know, they'll see a 30-year-old truck you find, and they're just looking for something to tear apart on it. I'm like, dude, if you're ever, if you're like that picky, like, oh, I've got a 18 that's cleaner than that. That's not clean. It's like, well, yeah, dude, it's a freaking 18. It should be cleaner. If it's not, you, you don't take care of your stuff, dude. You could neglect your truck, and it can be an 18 and be cleaner. You know, at least it should be, you know. I mean, for a 30-year-old truck, especially with these two, I mean, this is a 30, what is this? It's a 91, so 91 to 01, there's 10 years. To 11, there's 20 years. 21, yeah, so this is a 33-year-old truck, 34-year-old truck. Um, I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. I feel like maybe I found so many clean trucks that people are starting to get a little bit picky. They're like, ah, oh, well, you've already found clean ones like that before, so, you know. The bars got to get set higher, but really, it's like as time goes on, it gets harder. It doesn't get easy. It doesn't get easier to find these trucks as you know the years go on. Back when I first started this, I thought it was hard to find clean trucks, and that was back in 2000 and late 2017. I thought it was hard to find a clean first gen or a clean OBS. I thought man, this is a pain in the butt to find a clean truck. And it was, but it's even harder now. Anyways, guys, that's gonna put a wrap on this video. Not too terribly long, but I just wanted to uh, introduce the truck to you guys so you guys knew that it was here and the giveaway for it is live. And if you want to get in on it, time is ticking, the clock is winding down for dual entry. And if you want to get 30 times entries for this truck and this one at the same time, which is, keep in mind, that's it's basically like a 60 times bonus because you're entering two giveaways for the same order. That would normally just get you entered for one. I mean, it's the time to do it. If you're going to do it, do it now. Uh, because we got a five-speed first gen with four-wheel drive. comes with five grand. And we got a five-speed 7.3 Power Stroke Crew Cab Long Bed Dually. That comes with five grand. Holy smokes. I thought those were hard to find in good shape, which don't let me discredit myself. They are still very hard to find. Depending on where you live. Maybe you're in down in Texas or Florida and you find them all the time. I don't know. But these suckers are freaking impossible to find. Tell me how many of these you've seen. I want to see in the comments. For all you guys that are actually into trucks, which means your eyes are always kind of open looking for something like this. I'm not talking about a crew cab long bed two-wheel drive, okay? I'm talking about a crew cab long bed four-wheel drive with a manual. Dually, dually. Don't forget the dually part. That's what I'm talking about. Crew cab long bed dually with a ZFI manual and four-wheel drive. How many have you seen in your lifetime? Comment down below. And then once you're done commenting that, you might want to go enter to win this one because this is uh, truly a piece that if you keep it as clean as it is, and you maintain it, the sucker will skyrocket in price even more than it already is. These, oh my gosh, it's it's just, it's ridiculous what these go for anymore. I'm paying more than double what I used to for these trucks. It, it's crazy. Since I started doing this in late 17, I remember when you could buy a first gen like that for like nine grand, and it was in mint, good condition, just like this. Nice clean, you can't touch them for that anymore. You can get one that needs a lot of work for like 15, you know? A lot of work is in it might be rust free, but it needs paint or it needs, you know, new fuel system parts or it needs all kinds of transmission parts or who knows what. It's always something. And not just with first, I'm saying with, with old trucks in general, it seems like it's like you can't, you can't get a good deal on anything. If you wanna get a good deal, it's like that truck's gotta come with issues anymore. So, they cost a pretty penny. But anyways, guys, if you want to get entered, now's the time, best time, and you've only got one week. Link in bio.